Hi, I'm Divyanshu and I'm building my own portfolio of web apps in 2024. I quit my job last year in September 2023 and this is my podcast for kind of like daily accountability or weekly accountability. Uh, you have noticed like in the last couple of days, I have created different different kinds of videos with thumbnails, how to videos, uh, because I was just experimenting with what I like. I was not experimenting with the framework of how many views I can get or how famous I can get in YouTube. The general idea is uh, to spend this evenings, which I do like seven after 7 p.m. Uh, to utilize it in a more creative way and to learn from it and not feel uh, like going into this oblivion of Netflix or YouTube. That was the core idea why I started. So, but I felt like yesterday or day before yesterday while talking to a couple of my friends, I felt like uh, getting all those suggestions and feedbacks that uh, and that affected me a bit like how I'm thinking about these things how, how what is my goal to go with these episodes uh, then after a lot of tinkering and uh, writing it out openly and talking about it in front of a mirror I got to know what technically I want from these podcasts or these episodes uh, the general idea when I started was not to get into any kind of like getting more views that was never the idea it was to create a repository for myself so i can see it after maybe six months or one year uh, what kind of things i was doing and uh, how much progress i have made daily so kind of a journaling thing uh, daily i can do uh, apart from that the the benefit of doing this would be to learn something in terms of like lighting in terms of editing and uh, Another thing is like removing this camera shyness, talking in front of camera, getting a bit comfortable in these kind of environments. So yeah, so get, making the things much clearer for myself. And as you have noticed in this episode, I have again experimented a bit uh, from a suggestion from a friend, uh, like making it a bit darker. Uh, I have added those lights on that plant. Then there is another light that side. And then there is this light uh, I have put here. This is a color changing LED. So yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm just experimenting with different different formats, whatever I feel like I'm, I'm liking. So, so yeah, let's get right into it. Again, uh, so what I have learned from the last couple of episodes is I'm not interested in making those fancy 8 minutes or 12 minutes episode where a lot of editing is required and someone is catering one information. Like for example, in my last episode, I did how to make uh, thumbnails with the eye. It was a good topic uh, and it was genuinely what I was doing, but that is the most uninteresting topic to me. Like I did not enjoy making that video or publishing it out. I don't know, like that was not my kind of content. I'm more interested in making these accountability podcasts, right? That did not had any accountability in it. So, and also like talking a bit about what I'm going through what are the struggles uh, happening in building these projects and how I'm looking at the future, what kind of metrics I'm tracking. I really like the one where I made like how I make these keyword researches I do because that is something I felt more connected uh, on the trajectory where I'm going because that is more important to me on like learning about keyword researches or sharing such kind of information in these podcasts. So yeah, now getting a bit of like what's happening where are where are we in the past two weeks it's been two weeks now uh, since i started doing this so where are we few things have happened first is uh, the mac app which i'm building is at a really really good stage and uh, we are just tweaking bug fixes fixing like dynamic layouts uh, by dynamic layout i mean like uh, the player which zooms in zooms out has some issues if you see it in a mobile phone versus if you see it in an iPad or in uh, in a wide screen, uh, the zooms sometimes weird behavior. It's not just the responsive issue; it's a lot of calculation which needs to be done. Uh, but luckily, last week I spent a lot of my time, and uh, now that is fixed. So the dynamic screen issue is completely done, and we are ready to jump into maybe sharing it with a couple of internal users and even i'm using it a lot now and i'm very comfortable even like showing it in these demos someday so yeah that has happened and uh, i spend most of my time there second thing is uh, i wrote 
one lengthy note last week which was called focus i wrote it because i felt like i've been losing focus on most of the things like the thing which i decided i would be doing but i was getting distracted with whatever coming on my way i'm picking anything which excites me again that shiny uh, object syndrome is hitting sometimes and uh, that is why i prioritize i wrote lengthy topic like what really i want one is like i want to reach to this uh, mrr state by the end of 2024 and putting out these accountability notes uh, connect to more interesting people and get to know their stories learn from them share my insights what i am learning so the five major projects which i am picking are number one i have put in my list is like workouts i would not be earlier what i was doing i was doing these workouts like running uh, i was i prepared for a marathon in january on uh, 21st which was a mumbai marathon i participated in that and for that i was part practicing for a very long time i was building my stamina till to reach there but the goal was till 21st january once that day happened i took a break i got sick and the whole workout routine just was broken because once you reach certain goal then what next there is either i keep preparing for the next year uh, but i don't want to re- like reach out for these goals the main goal for doing workout is to be healthy and uh, healthy body produces a healthy mind and that's the goal to make the body healthy so and to put this discipline in so that i am not just preparing for some event events will happen i will prepare for those events that will be like a side project but generally uh, i'll have to just be very very dedicated to or disciplined on these workouts so that's what i wrote and i was like 6 days a week i have to go to the gym plus minus one day uh, that's like non negotiable and uh, then i started using one habit tracker i have put this like a number one project there so early morning every day uh, after working for one hour in the morning so my morning routines are generally like when i wake up uh, i have experimented with a lot of different things i started waking up at 6 am 5 am then i woke up at 9 am i found out like 7 am is the like the key window where i feel very very relaxed in the morning where i'm like fully refreshed and so yeah i wake up at 7 am after that again i experimented a lot like what to do next like what should i just directly go to the gym that that didn't work out like the motivation to go to gym after just waking up was always pretty bad i uh, it didn't work out for me so what i did i started like drinking my first cup of coffee and sitting in front of my computer and finishing one small task which i generally prepared the previous night this was great for me and i was thinking about it maybe the psychology of just waking up and finishing something i do not put a very massive task in front of me i generally put like it could be like just change this text change this icon very small like it gives me this dopamine boost in the morning after drinking coffee and finishing it that the rest of the day already is set i am like cruising o- o- over the day because i have just finished one task from my to do list so that's what i do i block one hour after waking up just in- sitting in front of computer and finishing one task and the second thing i do is just go to the gym like work out uh, 9 am 9:30 am i just go to the gym i am i spend like half an hour running there in the treadmill and then 30 to 45 minutes just lifting some weights and these days i am just uh lift targeting one muscle a day uh, previously i was targeting two muscle a day i tried pull push leg kind of routines but i think this one works really well for me because i am not distracted i know every day which muscle i want to work on and i can pick any exercise uh, which i can find so today was a bag day um, one of my fam- most favorite uh, muscle to work on and uh, yeah after that the next project is reading books so I have been reading books for a very long time. I have a lot of books and like maybe 60% of them I have never read, but I have them uh, as, as in my to-do list. And the other thing with reading books is like I am always on and off. Like sometimes some day I will sit the whole day and just finish one book. Some days some months I will not even read a single book. And this is again not not very disciplined way in my opinion. If I have to create this habit of reading or finishing my to dos of all those books i have to do it every day and then the compound effect will play its role 
so i have i've set a role like 20 pages is the minimum i have to finish a day it doesn't matter if i finish two pages early morning 18 in the night or maybe 20 pages before sleeping but i cannot sleep until i have finished 20 pages some days even i don't understand the 20 pages i read but i just sit and read them because i have to make this habit so yeah this is the second project in my to-do lists always again in my edit this task as a habit tracker and i'm using this app uh, which shows you your habits you just have to mark them done 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 and then it shows you like in git it shows you your contributions every day it shows those kind of graphs i really like that it's a bit nerdy but i like that kind of graphs and the third project in that list is the mac app project which i am doing with the contributors so this is not 100 percent my project i am also a contributor in this plus i own some ownership in this and uh, yeah, this is the project which is currently paying all the bills so i have dedicated a lot of hours on this project which is like three to four hours a day dedicated coding on this so after coming from the gym i generally go for meditation uh, which is like i do for 30 minutes nowadays and just after that which is like 11 30 or 12 i sit on this project till 4 4 30 and this is the window i am planning to even shut off from my mobile like i'll completely disable my mobile for these four hours and uh, i don't know with meditation i think i'm getting into this non-craving phase where i do not crave social media or these notifications anymore and i want to see how far i can go there like can i just disable my mobile for these four hours in a day and just do not even think about it on the side note, I am also doing one experiment on my Sundays, like a tech detox Sunday, where I'll not pay with UPI. I'll not touch my phone after waking up. I'll not follow this routine, which I discussed because Sunday is an off break. And uh, I'll just pick one book or a Kindle and my car keys and some card. That's it. That's, that will be on my back. No maps, nothing. I'll just live like a caveman. <laughs> In, on Sundays. That's completely side note. Uh, again, an experiment I'm trying from tomorrow. So yeah, we three projects, the Mac app project, which I'm working on. And the fourth project is my personal AI project. So I have made this commitment of creating these AI apps in iOS plus in web app. So two of them are already out. I'm working on the third app, which is AI note taking. And uh, it's Going a bit slower because, uh, as I said, the Mac app took most of my time. Plus, I was traveling in Holy, and sometimes it feels like I'm making a lot of excuses on this. But to be honest, I the plate is a bit full, and uh, yeah, so that's why it's 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 going on. Like I have completed the wireframes, I have created the export project, the apps, the home page is ready, but I have to finish the onboarding plus how the feature will work. I do not want to jump directly into creating it. I want to see how the flow will be. So it makes sense for me to use when I start coding it. Coding would be the last part as usual. And uh, so these are the four projects. And the fifth one is this YouTube podcast, which usually take like two hours of my time. I sit in front of the computer and just talk for 30, 45 minutes. Then I wrap it up. Uh, I edit it in like 15, 20 minutes, create a thumbnail in 10, 15 minutes. So you know, overall, like two hours it takes. Uh, I generally try to do it from seven to nine, nine thirty, and yeah, after that I just take my dinner, go to sleep, and that's the whole day uh, goes like. One thing I do not do is I do not take caffeine after twelve p.m. Uh, because that has affected a lot with my sleep cycles. Secondly, I do not do any coding work or any logical work after 7 p.m. I have noticed that also affects a lot of my sleep routine and I do not get good sleep. Fourth thing, I do use this ring, uh, which is ultra human sleep tracker. Uh, it helps me track uh, how good of a sleep I got every night. So I have noticed like last two days, I haven't got really good sleep. I have slept like six hours or five and a half hours. So this is really good data I, I got, right? So today I'll try to sleep early and uh, maybe do some sleep routine. I'll also be taking a supplement, which is melatonin. Um, I, I have these gummies, which make me very sleepy. Like if I take it half an hour before. So 
I do not take them regularly, but generally when I get this data, like I haven't been sleeping too well, then I take them and sleep like at around 10, 10 30 and wake up at seven. So it does contribute to like seven or eight or nine hours of sleep. And I have noticed like after taking melatonin uh, in general, my REM scores are really good. Uh, my REM score gets better and better. So yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to discuss, like how my day is generally and what what are the things happening in, in my life. And I'm back in Goa now, so I'm, I really like going to the beaches and just sitting there reading a book at the time of sunset. So I do not, I try to catch as many sunsets as possible. Since I have been here, I have al always been at the sunset time and in near the beaches. So I usually go out at around 5.30, no, no, 6. Uh, the last time I went there at 5.30 and it was so sunny. I had to wait for like one hour. So like for example, today I went at around 6 and at 6.40 the sunset is happening. So I do sit there for like 6 to 7 and come back home uh, after an hour. Uh, I'm also thinking, well, no, uh, th this is the only plate I'm, I'm thinking right now. And uh, the next topic which I want to talk about in this one is the important topic, uh, which I was discussing with one of my friends and uh, it's, it's, it's something a lot of uh, engineers might be interested in, which is how to get a job in the world of AI. We have talked about like dev and AI, you know, what, are, what will be the consequences, how to get a remote job. But my friend told me a very interesting, interesting point. He shared like, right now what's happening. I was not in this domain, so I don't know what usually people are doing. In my, like when I was in this job market looking for jobs, what I was doing was usually I create my resume, I update it, I share it with recruiters. I just apply on maybe AngelList, LinkedIn, or any other job portals, whichever out there, and then just wait for a reply from someone, get into the call. He said, now this is all changed. Now what's happening is you go to these new AI SaaS dashboards and uh, you give some information about you, maybe upload your resume, and these SaaS dashboards now apply for you. So you do not have to do anything. You just upload your profile there and they will apply for you on these companies. Like they might apply in AngelList or anywhere. What happened because of this, there is another pro problem. Now all the companies are getting bombarded with hundreds or thousands of resumes or these profiles because now AI doesn't care how many companies they are applying for. Even they are applying for where they, the candidate doesn't even match. Um, just to get more numbers or show to the user that, hey, your profile is submitted to 100 companies just for that number these dashboards are doing this to the to the engineers and now the companies are just bombarded with so many resumes which they have to filter out now there is another thing which is very interesting now these companies have found out a, again a new SaaS ai tool which will filter out the best candidate out of these ai resumes <laughs> so you have ais creating and applying and then you have AIs which are filtering. The engineer and the company are just so disconnected with each other. They doesn't know who will be picked. And how would the AI know which one is better? Because almost everyone will have a really good profile created because AI has created it. And now, to me, it feels like it's just a random luck. Uh, it's a roulette game happening in this recruitment cycle. And this blew my mind. Like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, and uh, who is really benefiting from this? The, the SaaS tool on the engineer side and the SaaS tool which have been sold to these companies. Neither the company is now uh, at, at benefit, neither the engineer. Uh, they have just uh, delegated their tasks to the AI and AI is well, picking up based on the random keywords which the other AI has created. Very interesting problem. Like how then how to get a job in the world of AI? Like for example, if I start applying now, I would not do this. Always try different methods. Uh, do not try the methods which are already in the market. So what I would do is, I would personally go to each company. I would make a list of maybe like hundred companies which I'm interested in, and 
which are open and i would personally go and connect to these engineers who are working there the ceo cfos i know these guys are also getting bombarded with ai related content because there are tools even like i think google chrome plugins extensions which automatically write messages to these users so all the users like everywhere is just spam what ai has these kind of tools have created is just a spam too much spam so you need a more human connection so maybe referral is one way like connect to people in the companies and ask them to refer you so you go via human route so now you have to pick a human route to connect to these companies and that's what i would do second thing what i would do is maybe spend two or three weeks building a very small ai tool uh, or maybe just copy someone like because do not make it commercial just to showcase that yes you are a good engineer sit for two weeks and i'm pretty sure in two weeks anyone can make a very simple ai tool with just a ai wrapper uh, think of any use case maybe just think of like uh, filtering out resumes uh, or if you are getting difficulty just ping me i'll give you like 100 of different tools you can create with ai and uh, obviously no one would pay for them but they will showcase like yes you are a good engineer and uh, then share that project with these companies or maybe put that project out in product hunt or share it in linkedin sometimes these kind of projects go viral and you get automatically a visibility if it doesn't get viral and it's just an okay project it's still very valuable because someone will see us yes, you can do this uh, because to be honest the days where engineers were getting hired doing what they have written in resume are just gone and you cannot be a beta developer you have to be alpha developer a 10x engineer 100x engineer who can build things by itself it does not need a product manager or a designer they can just build it by self by themselves and to be honest with the technology we have like available around us it's very easy uh, everything you can talk to the chat gpt and it will help you build things even host them and create icons so there's abundance of tech around us to stitch a small project and that's how you connect with these companies do not buy these ai auto publishing tools they will not help you neither they will help these companies because to be honest with this talk with my friend he is currently recruiting their company is recruiting and he only mentioned like they have received 436 or something um, job applications in one of their like a front end engineer role and uh, yeah i didn't know this like such a such things are happening in this domain so yeah i just wanted to touch on this So yeah, it, that's it. I I just wanted to talk about this and uh, do let me know how does this feels this lighting in this room right now and uh, also would be interested to know what kind of style of these videos would make more sense as a listener. Yeah, open for feedbacks, uh, tweaking a bit here and there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my current feelings. And I'm thinking maybe I'll change this light color in every episode. Just, just an idea. Maybe I can change it right now. Let's see. Okay, which one looks good? I think this. No, I think for me this is this is good. Cool. So yeah, have a nice day, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.